Welcome back to digital class and this is a discussion for booklet number seven and let's look at this question. Question number five. Here it says that Joyce and Bao, Bao yeah, ran in the race. Now there's Joyce here. There's this Bao. Joyce ran at a speed of 200 meter per minute. When Wal run, was at a half point now, when Wal is here, let me just put here, Wal, Joyce was actually 2.5 km ahead. Now, when they reach half of it, it's 2.5 km ahead. Now, interestingly, both of them did not change their speed throughout the race. And Joyce completed the race at 11.50 a.m. What time did Val completed the race? Now, a very interesting point here you need to understand is that when Val is here, here is actually 2.5 km ahead. Now, let me just try to uh, do this. If Val now is at the end point, assume that Joyce is actually continued to run, how far will it be? Joyce is supposed to be in front, of her, but how far will it be? It should be 5 km, right? Why? Because if half point is 2.5, at the end point, it'll be another extra 2.5. There'll be 2.5 plus 2.5, which is 5 km. Okay? Now, which this actually tells us something that's interesting. Now, I know that here, let me just highlight here. Joyce run at a speed of 200 minute per meter per minute. 200 meter is for one minute. Now, if now it's actually 5 km distant, how, what's the time that it will cost? Uh, it will be, uh, okay, just assume 5, uh, 5 km is 5,000 meter, right? So it'll be 5,000 meter. Okay. So to know 5,000 meter, and you use 1 to divide by 200 times 5,000. And it's how many minutes? It will be 25 minutes. Okay, 25 minutes. Means that when uh, he travel up to here, when Joyce run until another extra 5km here, then Valerie will be here. Okay, and the time that when Joyce is here, will be the same as Valerie here. So I need to find what time it will be here. Now, I know that Joyce reached the race is 11.50. And I know here up to here is 25 minutes. Means that I need to use this to plus with this. I know the time that it reached here. And it actually is the time Valerie reached the end point. So in simple, 11.50 plus 25 minutes. Then it will be the answer, which is actually 12.15 p.m. Okay, and we are done. Again, what I'm trying to do here is to assume that Joyce is continuing to run for 5 km. And at this point of time, it's actually where Valerie reached the end point. Why 5 km? Because when Valerie is at the half point, Joyce already 2.5 km ahead. So when you reach the end point, it will be double it because half of point means double it right at the end. It's 5 km. So if then I calculate if it's 5 km, means that you travel extra 25 minutes. And this 25 minutes when the, when Joyce reached here is when Valerie reached the end point. So I add up the time together to find out the time for Valerie completed the race. Okay. And the answer, of course, is again 12.15 p.m. And we are done with this question. It is a very interesting question because it tricks you with the midpoint or the halfway point. Okay. Thank you and see you. Bye-bye.